spawn out. You can kind of like cover yourself. Yeah, no like, wings. Oh yes, she's gonna turn into a beautiful butterfly. Yeah, now, I don't want anyone to see my sleepy faces. Right. <laughs> So welcome to part two of my top three hammock tent review video. Now the reason I'm saying tents is two of the three hammocks are more tents than hammocks. They've kind of meshed the two together, these other two companies. Now before I start out, I have to give a huge thank you to my boy Christopher Fox for putting in all the time in those graphics in the last video. Fox probably spent, I would say a full 20, 20 hours, 20 plus hours putting all that together. So on this part two episode, I thought it would be really interesting to bring in someone that was relatively new to camping and also had never hammock camped before. I really feel like you're getting a more honest perspective uh, on these sleep systems, having a newcomer doing it, rather than somebody that's been doing it for a long time. So Livia, thanks again for coming in and trying trying out these hammocks. I'm taking Livia and uh, seven other people out to Escalante to do Coyote Gulch, which is a big 21 mile canyon, all backcountry camping. So I've been slowly introducing uh, each and every person to different types of gear, sleep systems, etc. Because again, it's all up to the individual user. Everyone's gonna have a different opinion on whether something's comfortable, something's not. And a lot of it has to do with how you sleep. And so without further ado, here is part two of the top three camping hammock tent sleeping systems. Okay, so I have my amazing friend Livia who came to help us with this demonstration. This is the Eno Double Nest. The first thing I wanna talk about is the functionality of being able to have an integrated camping chair. So especially for backcountry camping, it's nice to have this extra, extra luxury while you're at camp. So Livia, go ahead and try this out as sure. a chair first. Let's check it out. Ooh. Definitely better than sitting in a rock. Yes, <laughs> but like it's fun. It's luxurious. It's fun. That added added bonus that you, you're not going to have when sleeping in a tent. Wow, I would read like this to definitely take a nap. Mm -hmm. Now there's something very interesting and that's again why I, I brought Livia here to kind of show what it's like to be in a hammock. When I first started using a hammock, I thought this is actually how you lay in a hammock. As you'll notice, there is this banana thing happening here. Proper way to lay in a hammock is that you actually go diagonal so you can be more flat. Feet over here, like here. this, um, and then go diagonal. Okay, 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 like that. And yeah. so you can see where it helps the balance a lot more too. That's true. You see what I mean? Yeah, like I definitely have more room for And now you can even sleep like, sideways, yeah. Yeah, even like that, I could do like, definitely, that's true. Okay, so now Eno makes their own uh, bug net for this, which actually has a ridge line incorporated in. The only problem with this one is, is it doesn't have any doors in it, so it's kind of interesting to get in and out. Now, since most bug nets have doors with zippers that you can kind of get in and out, this one, let's see if you can get it to work, kind of slides over you. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, but it seems to me lots of work. I'd be happy to have something that prote protects me from the, the mosquitoes. Yeah. It, I, personally, I think thing. it's actually a pretty cool invention. Yeah, yeah. The yes. only thing that I would probably suggest is not wearing a headlamp while you're trying to put this on and getting situated because the worst thing possible is to trap 10 mosquitoes in here while you're while you're closing up your net. Yeah, that's true. No, I don't want to trap any mosquitoes here. But actually, this isn't too bad. This retails for about 100 bucks. But um, now again, with cost, you're adding in $200 underquilt, $150 tarp, a sleeping pad, the $100 bug net. And so now the cost is going up from the original $70 hammock that's super small. 
you are carrying a lot more things now. I was pen and knife in here. Nice. I'll give it a try. All right, so here we are with the Amok Drummer 3.0. This is the third generation hammock. And what's interesting about this design is it doesn't go with the straps. It actually goes the opposite way. What I love about this comes with a sleeve that you put the sleeping pad in. Okay. So, again, the easiest way for me is to just put it on like a little sweater. But you are gonna sit down about two feet once you get into it. You can kind of, kind of use these to adjust. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, it does make lots of noise. <laughs> but I can totally go on my side. You can mm -hmm. sleep pretty good in it? I can straight my legs, nice. straight my arms. I feel I can move safely. Mm -hmm. I, like, I won't fall, I won't tee, like, but it feels like stable, more stable and straight. Yeah, for, for sure. For my back, especially. So you think it's a big increase up from the, uh, yeah, you know, for hammock. a night, definitely. This actually turns into a camping chair as well, so. Go ahead and sit up and you're going to take this strap and this strap and you're going to kind of pull down. This one and this one. And then take this one. <laughs> take this one. This one too. And the other one. And okay. that's going to raise your feet up a little bit. Pretty comfortable as a chair too. Yeah. Way more yeah. comfortable than the other yeah, hammock as a chair? Way more comfortable. Too. Now what's cool about this one, again too, we'll just do a fast version of this. The bug net's actually sewn into this little mm. pocket. You can kind of do it yourself as well too. And that's what I do like about this. So you don't have to buy anything separate. Here, here, that up. Yeah, yeah. that doesn't feel like claustrophobic or anything. Again, one of my favorite designs on it. I think it's actually really, really cool. This does have a tarp that goes this way. Mm -hmm. And it's similar to a regular hammock tarp. So again, you're protected in the front. You're protected from the back, but again, one of the main problems is that it's completely open on the sides. I've never, I, I've never gotten those people that can camp out with just a tarp and they sleep on the ground and everything's open. I don't like that at all. And it, I, I really didn't think about that when I bought this hammock and went out camping, but that first night in the middle of the night, I wake up and I can hear something walking around camp. I really don't want to see it. You know what I mean? I don't want to know what's out there. Okay, so for our final hammock, this is actually more of a tree tent uh, of what it is, but it kind of falls in the same category. It almost looks like a spaceship. Mm -hmm. As far as design goes, really, really cool. Uh, Alini and I actually took this out on and did the whole East Rim of Zion. It served us pretty well, considering it was winter time while we were out there. Uh, I did learn a few things about this tent. One, uh, you really do want to hang it lower to the ground because it's kind of difficult to get in and out of. Two, it doesn't have a way of putting an under quilt underneath this and it doesn't really fit sleeping pads. So having those factors, this is more of a two season tent than a four season tent. Definitely is like straight. So you cannot place a pad here, a pad. Initially it feels like a bed. How does it feel? I really like it. Inside it's cool. You feel like you're really like, you know, to like a spaceship or something. Yeah. I have like space. I can do whatever. Uh-huh. Now this is meant for two people. Is it? Do you feel yeah. lopsided in it when you get on one side to the other? No, not really. So if you take a look at this strap right here, you can adjust the tension on this. Uh, and the reason why this is here, because if you didn't have the strap, the two people laying inside would ultimately slide into each other. It's not too bad for room for two people. Mm -hmm. And again, it's pretty, it's pretty spacious. Well, it's, it's kind of like you would think it would be, right? Yeah, no noise at all. No, there's little hooks that you can hook things oh, cool. like into. A little water bottle with the carabiner, you can hook that into there. True. Yeah, it's cool, it's comfortable yeah, for it's, a camp. Yeah, for it's camping. It's pretty fair. Yeah, so all in all, I've really enjoyed this tent. I've only been able to take it out a couple times camping. Uh, I haven't been able to summer camp in this thing yet. So that's one thing I'm really excited about doing. But the main thing you really have to realize is that it is hard to find three perfect trees. 
Now you would think that finding three trees out anywhere to hang this thing up would actually be pretty easy. And when Alini and I were up in uh, Zion, we were in plenty of forest areas. I was spending 30 minutes to an hour trying to find the right set of three trees to make this actually work. So using the ratchet strap, having to tie everything off, it's, it's a lot more difficult to go camping in this thing than you would initially think. Design-wise, amazing. But as far as setup time, it takes a lot of practice. You should probably do it three, four, five times before you even go camping in this thing because there is a learning curve to a tensile tree tent. <laughs> As you notice, as I'm moving, you can really tell uh, the other yeah, person's that you're gonna. Moving. But that's like a camping right. issue, I think, mostly. Right. It's, when you it's more of a couple issue, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs>